that. How important is journalism to piercing the secrecy? That well, I mean, the, you know, journalism has been essential through the whole democratic America's experiment with democracy. Um, Jefferson recognized that. Madison recognized that. De Tocqueville and his uh, young French aristocrat here to study prisons, but ends up studying the whole of American society, says that uh, in Great Britain, in, in, in countries with an aristocracy, Great Britain and France and others, you, you people are naturally held together by the allegiance to their lords. Mm -hmm. In a democracy, thank goodness, we don't have that. And de Tocqueville said, well, what holds America together is principally newspapers. And you, you see through all our history, and I, I, in my book spends a lot of time talking about the importance of papers, and you see that the federal government subsidized newspapers so that at one point um, newspapers by weight were 90% of the volume of what goes through the post offices, but only one-ninth of the revenue because of the subsidies. And newspapers through our whole history have been vital. Now they go up and they go down, and there was a big up during the so-called progressive period in the early 20th century, and then about in 1912 that ends, the muckraking magazines go out of business, and for a long time, really until the late 60s and early 70s, journalism is in a dip, at least as, mm -hmm. as far as exposing national stories, and maybe they expose more state and local stories. Yeah. We, have to, we have to worry about whether investigative journalism is through newspapers is going to survive, and if it doesn't, are there other devices like ProPublica that will succeed in keeping, because we, we need the force of um, the media, the press, mostly newspapers, they're the best at it, um, or traditionally have been more than television. It, television doesn't do this quite as well in general, I think.